Hi everyone, this is Brian from For Goodness Snakes and I'm up in the Santa Cruz Mountains doing what I do and I'm just basically herping and looking for any kind of critters I can pretty much find. <laughs> and then look at them, take pictures of them and look at this gorgeous, I think it's a rough scaled newt. And again, we're up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. <clears throat> <I've, clears throat> through my life I've found hundreds of these. <clears throat> Hear that wild turkey? And uh, I always enjoy them. Really healthy looking newt, rough scaled newt up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It rained a few days ago, so I'm not surprised that I found one of these guys. But um, I just heard from some people that I um, correspond with that somebody saw two mountain king snakes up here yesterday. I think it was yesterday. But just look at that gorgeous, isn't that something? And who knows why the red belly? It might be because it's when it go, when it gets feels threatened, it might roll over on its back, show its belly, and uh, that might spook off some predatory animals. Because this is somewhat of a, I guess, not venomous but poisonous animal. At least some of these guys can be. So you have to be kind of careful. I'm going to be washing my hands before I put them in my mouth, but. These days, that's pretty much what I'm doing anyway. But yeah, when you hold the salamanders or newts, I can't remember which is which of the two, and maybe both types of animals, there is a possibility, and in some cases, maybe even more of a probability of being poisoned by their skin, the secretion from their, from their skin um, creates a toxic substance. So anyway, pretty cool. All right, you guys, have fun. Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes. And also, also check out my website for uh, any available animals that I have up for sale right now. Um, please check them out, and you, hopefully you'll find something that you like. All right, you guys, take care.